Hare Krishna. So now Krishna has spoken three verses, very strong verses. And after hearing that, Sanjay is speaking something. Let's see. Let's see what Sanjay wants to say in Shloka number 35. Sanjay Vacha Etak Shrutva Vachanam Keshavasya Kratanjali Vepamanaha Kiriti Namaskritva Bhuya Eva Krishnam Sagadgadam Bhita Bhita Pranamya. So here Sanjay is saying, now basically Sanjay is able to see what is happening on the battlefield, on the chariot. Krishna spoke and now looking at Arjuna and explaining about Arjuna's situation, Sanjay is speaking this particular verse. He says, Etat Shrutva Vachanam Keshavasya. So Keshava, Krishna, he spoke. And who heard that? Arjuna. So after hearing the words of Keshava, that is Krishna, Arjuna, what did he do? Here it is said, Vepamanaha Kiriti. So Kiriti is Arjuna. So what is Arjuna doing? Arjuna is trembling. And while trembling, what is he doing? Kritanjalir Namaskritva Bhuya. He is just folding his hands and paying obeisances once, twice, again and again and again. And then here it is said, and to whom is he paying obeisances? Evaha Krishnam. He is paying obeisances to Lord Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And now, to that same Supreme Personality of Godhead, is here it is given, Sa Gadgadam Bhita 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 Pranamya. Now he fearfully spoke, fearfully spoke with a faltering voice to Krishna as follows. So basically, Arjuna, this Sanjay is acting like a cameraman from, uh, from Krishna, the universal form. He's shifting the camera to Arjuna and now he's giving the mic to Arjuna. Now you speak. This is what is happening here. Here there are some points which are very nice and pretty humorous also. Now when it comes to Vedic scriptures, especially when these great personalities are speaking, they use few words but they are very very apt to that particular situation. Like for example, here there's a word Kiriti. Now what happened is, there was a fight between Arjun and Indra. And Arjun is such a great warrior that he defeated Indra and his entire army. And Indra was very pleased. Very pleased to see the great warrior Arjuna with such great power and skills. So being pleased with Arjun, Indra gave him a Kirita. That is a very nice helmet. And this particular helmet that was there, a crown that was there. So this particular crown was made up of celestial jewels and metal. So it was a celestial crown basically. So from that day onwards, Arjuna got a name, Kiriti. Mm -hmm. Now here this word is used, Kiriti. And before that, what is used? Vepamanaha. So what is Kiriti doing? So here Kiriti stands for a person who is very, very powerful, who is very bold was very confident and here Vepa Manaha says he's trembling. <laughs> so same powerful person, same confident person who defeated, who defeated Indra and Indra's army, that person is trembling. We can imagine how much fear is there in the heart of Arjun when he is actually seeing the universal form of the Lord. So this is that word Kiriti. Here it is said, that as we have already explained, because of the situation created by the universal form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Arjuna became bewildered in wonder. Thus he began to offer his respectful obeisances to Krishna again and again. Now this is a very uh, important thing to note. Now Arjuna was in great wonder, at the same time he was very fearful. Bhitaha, here it is given, Bhita Bhitaha. So, very fearful. And in that fearful state, now whenever a person is in fear, sometimes the voice is choked. We start shivering. And in that state, when a person speaks, the voice is not very clear, the voice is faltering. That's what is the situation of Arjun here. Looking at that universal form, uh, the words are not coming from the mouth. But then, 
looking at the greatness of the universal form arjuna is just holding his uh, hands and is offering prayers in faltering voice in a great fear so here it's given thus he began to offer his respectful obeisances to krishna again and again and with faltering voice he began to pray not as a friend but as a devotee in wonder now no more arjuna remains a, remains a sakha no remains a friend now he comes to the mood of dasya he comes to the mood of a servant he comes to the mood of a devotee in wonder in fear and then he is offering prayers it's a very nice thing here that's the, that is given see whenever we go in front of the lord we need to understand that okay in front of me now the lord is there in the picture form or in the form of archa vigraha in the form of deity holding the flute th- standing in threefold beautiful bending form but at the same time we need to understand that he is the same person who is the creator maintainer and destroyer he is the same person who is planning everything in my life he is the same person who is my eternal well wishing friend he is the same person who loves me so much so with that mood when we stand in front of the lord automatically our palms should join and very nice prayers can come you know from our mouth glorifying the supreme personality of godhead like whenever we go in front of the altar we offer this prayer we glorify krishna saying hey krishna karuna sindho oh krishna you are so merciful you are so merciful you have showered your mercy now you are in fact you are an ocean of mercy and you have showered that mercy onto this most fallen sinful person you have pulled me on the path of bhakti हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगतपते ओ योर द फ्रेंड ऑफ द मोस्ट फॉलन द मोस्ट डिग्रेडेड वन एंड आई एम द मोस्ट डिग्रेडेड वन बट एट द सेम टाइम नो यू आर यू आर द वेल विशर ऑफ नो मी बट एट द सेम टाइम यू आर जगतपते यू आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग केयर ऑफ दिस एंटायर यूनिवर्स दिस एंटायर जगत दिस एंटायर क्रिएशन जगतपते गोप एषा गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते So in the first part the devotee is describing the merciful nature of the lord in between he is talking about the greatness of the lord and finally towards the end he is talking about the sweetness of the lord through his past times where he is saying oh you are the lover of gopis you are the lord of gopis you are the lord of shrimati radharani and to such a great personality who is so merciful who is so great and who is so sweet i offer my repeated obeisances on to you So in this way, when we go in front of the Lord, no, we need to offer some prayers, and for that we have to learn some prayers. So if we don't know any prayers, at least one thing we can do: go in front of the Lord, join our palms, and say Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This mahamantra itself is a prayer, which says, Oh Hare, Oh energy of Lord Krishna, Shri Mati Radha Rani, Oh Krishna. please engage me in your loving dev- devotional service i am rotting here in this material world doing sense gratification trying to lord it over material nature oh lord now at least please engage me in your loving devotional service this is the prayer you now which uh, which is the meaning of the mahamantra hmm. so in this way whenever we go in front of the lord we have to pay full dandavat the men should pay, pay full dandavat full flat on the floor which is called as uh, ashtanga dandavat and when it comes to females they should pay panchanga dandavat you now where uh, the body is made you know, in such a way that uh, you know it is called as half dandavat yes so in this way be it male or female we have to offer obeisances and we have to offer obeisances chanting prayers and considering oneself to be the servant of krishna because at times you know when we go to the temple what what different things can we give theek hai patram pushpam phalam we can take and we can give but when we pay obeisances to the lord we are actually offering ourselves to the lord and that is the greatest offering that a devotee can do when he goes to the temple that oh lord please accept me please accept me so in this way offering prayers offering obeisances to the lord when we go to the temple or even in the house when we see the photo of the lord now it's very very important you know to do it on day to day basis when we keep doing this what happens automatically we become humble even if we are lording it over material nature and trying to be master in this world by this activity of offering prayers and obeisances to the lord what will happen we will come back to our original constitutional position of becoming or being a servant of lord shri krishna 
Now here Sanjay is described very nicely. Arjuna, in the mood of a devotee, he is folding his uh, hands and then he is offering prayers, repeated obeisances and he is speaking something. He is offering wonderful prayers. And these set of prayers will start from the next shloka. So let's see that in the next video. Hare Krishna.